So I'm going to start this video a little differently than normal. Um, there's a bunch of stuff going on in YouTube right now and it's kind of affecting the, uh, the climate of YouTube and so just to be clear, these videos are for adults. If you are a child, like if you're, if you're some seven year old kid and you have a sword, someone needs to take that sword from you. Don't do stupid stuff with a sword that'll get you hurt. No! No! God! No! God! Please, no! 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 So, with that said, what's up, guys? It's the only ninja wearing aviators in a superhero hat bringing you another video here on this great Saturday, which means this is another awesome tutorial, and we're gonna be covering, uh, if you haven't been able to tell yet, the sword. We're actually gonna be covering the three basic tricks or the three basic tosses that you can learn if you're trying to learn extreme sword techniques. So for our three basic tosses, I'm going to show you them real quick, it's going to be nice and easy. It's going to be our standard forward toss just like this, our reverse toss, and the horizontal toss just like that. Now those are our three basic tosses. So for the first one, obviously when you are tossing, your blade is going to be coming towards you and you're going to be pushing the blade away from you. This is pretty simple, everyone in the world has done a toss like this before. If you've ever tossed the ball, that's the motion you're going to be making with your sword. It's just going to make a circle in this direction and you're going to let the handle fall into your hands. You don't want to chase after it because you might drop your sword or drop whatever you're using. Instead, let it fall into your hands just like that. Now, the second one is going to be a little bit different. Now, for the second one, this, the circle you're going to be making is the opposite direction. The blade is going to be going down and around just like that. So when you do this toss, flip your wrist up and out. Instead of down and around, you're going to flip your wrist up and out. You're throwing from the handle instead of from the tip of the sword, if that makes sense. So when you do your release, you're going to let the sword go around and it will naturally come into your hand. You don't want to reach out and grab it and try to chase it and beat it to it because you might actually grab the blade of the sword instead. You want to let it come to your hand just like that. Ooh, that was a little close to my face. Just like that. Now again, when you do these tosses, you don't want to do them in line with your body. This can allow it to hurt you. You want to do it just off the center so it doesn't actually kick, kill you, <laughs> so it doesn't stab you. Because if you do it inline, you run the risk of, especially when you're learning, hurting yourself on the spin, especially for this one. When you do it offline, you can flip it and move your body out of position in time to catch it just like that. So keep that in mind, you can learn how to do it in front of you. It is possible, but it's harder and requires different skills and it's not your three basic tosses. So I'm not gonna teach you that right now. This is also a basic toss, but it's not one of the three main ones. So for our last one, it's gonna to be tossing horizontally. It's gonna be coming across just like this. The best way I know how to do it for, the, or the guy, I guess the easiest way I know how to do it is to switch hands when you catch. So when you release, it comes around and catches in the opposite hand. Let it, it falls into that hand. I'm still not grabbing at it. You can do that, you can grab at it just like this. Let me do that lower. You can grab at it, but it requires different skills and it's a little bit harder. For the basics, you can just toss it up. Now when you're learning, you can toss it high and give it some hang time and let it come to you. But when you, what your goal is, you want it to stay at the level of, of your chest. You want to st let it stay between your head and your stomach. So in order to do that, what you might have to do is lean back just a little bit to let it pass, let the sword part pass and catch the handle. Again, let it pass. Let it pass. When you get a little more experience, you can do several spins just like that. You can do two spins, you can do it all low, just like that, you can do it high, it's up to you. But these are the basic things that will help you learn to add tosses into your combinations like that. So, if that interests you, definitely try it out. Again, don't try it out with a sword at first. Try it out with a stick or something that you won't hurt. Uh, <laughs> try it out with something you won't hurt yourself with, basically. You can use PVC, baseball bat even, 
really whatever you actually don't do with a baseball bat is completely off way to do it like a stick or a PVC pipe or a dowel rod or something that isn't sharp or a sword because you don't want to stab yourself again no don't don't do that you did mean it but with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of the stuff I have coming, definitely subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the stuff I have coming because I have a bunch of stuff coming in January. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm pumped. I'm ready. I'm hyped. Your boy is ready. And until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.